Hi, I'm Christian. Welcome back to another On The Road video brought to you by AppliantVideo.com. Today we're working on a Whirlpool Cabrio washing machine. The customer's complaint is that it is coming up with an SD error code. The error code is also a F71 error, which means a sudsing issue or that the inner basket isn't engaging in the spin. So it's not going through the main spin at the end of the cycle. So I have diagnosed that it needs a new tub hub. The reason being is the tub hub actually helps the inner basket engage into the spin. So right now it should be engaged into the spin. So when I rotate the impeller down here, the whole tub is supposed to spin with the impeller. As you can see, I'm holding the tub and I'm spinning the impeller. The splines on the hub have actually deteriorated and broken off over time. So we're gonna go ahead and start beginning the repair to replace the hub. The tools you will need to complete this repair are a number 11 millimeter socket, a flat blade screwdriver, a Phillips style screwdriver, or a Phillips style bit incorporated with the drill. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for proper voltage. First step we want to do is remove this little cover. This covers a nut which secures the impeller down. The nut is actually a number 11 millimeter nut. So we're gonna go ahead and use a ratchet to uh, remove the nut. To do so, you do have to hold on to the actual impeller to get it loose. Once it's loose, you can take off your the actual socket and just turn it by hand. Now be careful, it is greasy. I should say it's from fabric softener. There's gonna be a bunch of black stuff and it's just from a use of fabric softener and it is messy. To remove the impeller, you can just grab side here. Usually they pull right off, but this one is a little tricky. See, it just pulled right off. You can also just use, I'll put it back in there. If you wanna make it easier, use that little screwdriver you use to pop off the cap. Just insert it in the hole here and lift up. Next, we're going to begin removing the six Phillips style screws from the hub. They just secure the hub to the actual basket. It doesn't matter what order you take them out in. Just set them aside. You will need them later to reinstall the new one. So once the six screws have been removed, we can go ahead and grab the, the hub here and pull it right off. So this is the top part of the hub. When I was here yesterday and I diagnosed it, I took it off, as you could see, the teeth, they're all fine. There's nothing wrong with it. This actual part of the hub is the actual bottom piece where it uh, hooks up to the shaft. So I'm gonna take that off and I will uh, let you see. It might be a little difficult. You might have to use some pliers. As you can see, the new one is on the left-hand side, the old one's on the right side. If you look on the inside of them, you can see the splines. And as you see on the new one, they're nice and formed and they're all there. On the old one, you can see they're all worn out and that's why the tub is not engaging in the spin. On the hub kit, it comes with actually two top pieces of the hub because there are two different styles. So when you take the old one off, you do have to line it up to make sure you're gonna install the correct one. We're gonna just slide the bottom of the hub right over the shaft and push it down all the way. The bottom portion is on the shaft. We're gonna go ahead and line up the top portion with the screw holes and slide it over the bottom, bottom portion of the hub. Just like that. Now you're gonna notice a gap because when you insert the screws, it's actually gonna lift up the tub the rest of the way. So there will be a little gap between the hub and the openings for the screws. So as I insert the screws here, the six Phillips style screws, it'll start lifting up the tub. So don't tighten them all the way until all the screws are in place. Once all the screws are in place and securing the hub, we can go ahead and re-secure the impeller. Next, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall the impeller. You just line it up with the shaft. Once it's lined up with the shaft, you can just pull 
push straight down. Now we can go ahead and resecure the impeller with the 11 millimeter bolt. Just line it up and start. Um, I would start it with your hand because if you put the ratchet on right away, it won't tighten or you'll have a difficult time. So once it's about as tight as you can get it with your hand, go ahead and you start using the ratchet to tighten it all the way. Now when you're tightening it, tightening it, you're going to have to hold the basket once it gets close to the end. And this is what I was talking about. So as you can see, I'm twisting the impeller and I'm holding the tub and the tub has to move with the impeller. And this is what will cause the washer to engage into the spin. So once the impeller is secured, we want to go ahead and reinstall the cap for that bolt. When you go to reinstall this cap here, there's three plastic tabs that have to line up with the correct slots down below. If you don't line them up and you just push on, it will break these tabs off and this cap will not be secured correctly. This notch here on the impeller cap is going to line up with one of the three veins. It doesn't matter what one, one of the three veins on the impeller. So remember that when you go to reinstall the cap. I'm just gonna reinstall the cap here, just like that. After installing the cap, we're gonna go ahead and close the lid and run it through a spin cycle, and that should complete your repair. Thank you for watching another quality in-home repair video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.